Some excellent safety exchanges here. I think Joe thought he'd potted that. I thought he was on a thread to the pocket, but just have a look at this. Good effort. What? There's another typical Judd Trump shot played with the minimum of effort for the maximum result. Seven. Well, that was a clever shot. I was like plum on the blue, but he would have had the black in his mind as well there. That was very clever to say. The black, although it's in the open, is a wee bit awkward actually. That's what just thinking about. What's the little pattern here? Is it worth playing the split now? We know about his Q power. He's going in. Gets the spin. Oh, this is nice. Is the black on the twelve? He's on a red, but going to be difficult to get to a color. I think the one into the left middle pocket would be the easier f positional wise. The one near the black spots, the easier pot, but the more difficult. Shot to get on a colour, so it's the one to the middle. Thirteen. Just come up a little bit short, but we know with this cue power, there's no problem spinning it around the angles. I'm just wondering 18. if he drops this in with the black pot, if not back for the blue. 19. I think that red next to the blacks blocking the path for the black for the left corner. So he's going to have to concentrate on blues at the moment. Yeah, this is where that power that we're talking about this afternoon comes in handy. 24. I keep on getting back up for blue. Oh, that's a monster kick. A monster. Judd Trump, 24. That red actually <laughs> almost went sideways. I mean, there's kicks and there's kicks, but that... We talk about it throwing offline a little bit. Have a look at this one. <laughs> Dear me. At least it's not going to cost him. I expected Joe to pop that, but well, it's Joe's turn to have a run of the ball. He's made a mistake and hasn't left anything.
obvious bad contact there, as we see it again. The only thing you would imagine that a kick would take pace out of the cue ball. I'm very surprised he didn't play for the red by the pink spot and the one just adjacent to the pink. You would think, as I say, getting a kick, he was playing for the one below the black spot. Either way, in and out of bulk with this, plenty of pace. Oh, this is good. Just needs the gap. Yeah. Unfortunate Fuck. on the brown in a fashion, but I don't think there's any chance he'll be taking it on. Joe Perry, This red's got some value in it down the cushion, screw back top side of the the blue. But we know the pockets are pretty sharp this week. Oh yeah. <laughs> Best shot of the match, I think Joe Perry's played that. Well. Hug the cushion all the way down. Brilliant shot. Back to work then. Pink and black obviously still out of the equation here. First things first, get yourself back in the frame. Hopefully three or four loose reds to come. It's finished awkward. He can pot the red just behind the black spot, and he's hampered with the red to the left of the black. And he's also got the problem of canning into reds so if he took that pot on, so there's no value whatsoever in taking the pot on. Joe Perry, six. Again here, the premium is on getting a good cue ball within a few inches of the bulk cushion. Either that or cover the red in the left half. Good effort. Yeah, he's got the cover. That was a good shot, that by Judd. It was a big ask, actually, to get the red as thin as he did. He executed it well. Now he has to get close to the pot here, otherwise he could make a cannon. Yeah. If you don't get close to the pot there, you're always liable to... You know, obviously, the cue ball's going to go on a different path, but how fortunate he's been. So you get the pot, you find the gap. You miss it thin. It all goes wrong.
Yeah, that was very difficult with the white right in the jaws of the pocket, but as you say, Alan, what a result Joe had to finish up there. Looks as if this red passes the green and brown. Credit to him for being aggressive and playing the cannon. He's going to put a red here. I favour the one to left middle rather than the red with the rest. I feel they play the one to middle. Oh, he's a brave man taking this on. This has to be so accurate. Now, tough, tough shot that. Joe Perry, 12. I was with you, Alan, there. I thought the one to the middle was a slightly easier choice. Even when you're in behind those, they're difficult. When using the rest, they're even more difficult. Well. It's not a straightforward run to the winning line in this frame, where the balls are situated. There's Three or four reds, not too badly placed. I'm in line with the one near the pink, and uh, it doesn't go past the pink into the corner. So. Eight. Try to develop that red, but hasn't managed it. Yeah, it's actually fortunate here the natural's going between green and, and the pocket. Oh, fortunate in two counts there. Don't know whether he'll play this with his right hand, but either way, play it with a rest. You'd fancy him knocking it in. You see, they just catch the jaw here and find a little gap. Just gone a bit scrappy this frame, but goes without saying. It's vitally important for both players for different reasons. Joe Trump, 14. He's covered that one with the green. He's hampered him with the brown for the one to the right corner. So he's going to have to take the one into the left corner pocket.
Not always easy in this type of situation when frames. It's been a little scrappy, Pete. a few mistakes creeping in. It's difficult to slip back into scoring mode. He wants to punch a couple of balls in just to get the blood flowing in the Q arm. No. Played that nicely. few ways of going about his next positional shot to then get to the difficult 40. red that's next to the pink you'd normally try and get on the blue it would be the best ball to get to that last red that's where he'd like to put the cue ball I mean, the red's far enough away from the cushion to just drop in behind it. Yes. 15. Yeah, the red's off the cushion, as I say, and I put two whites there. Either of those would give him a red to the right corner, a red to the middle. Let's see how he goes about this. He might play to just maybe flick it away, but that's, it's a good shot. It's a bit unlucky. Because the red was away from the cushion, it was uh, difficult to move it, and he hadn't quite got the angle to just drop in behind it. Perry, 20. <clears throat> mm, I don't think it's hard enough. He may have left the pot on mentioned a few times when you're playing this type of shot you've got to make sure you get the object ball safe and he hasn't this time and the white might go near that right middle pocket here cannon on the black ain't well. sure it didn't but he's faced with a tricky possible frame ball Got to be careful though because the brown will go back on his spot and he could snooker himself so he was getting down to have a go at the brown and then changed his mind this is a crucial part of the uh, match if he can take this and level at three all he's uh, well on track if he drops two behind it's going to be difficult for him joe perry well he'll settle for that and once again, no matter how good you are when you escape from a snooker, you need a little bit of run of the ball to knock it safe. Well, Joe could put Judd on quite a tough snooker here if he can stop the white dead it's a delicate little shot but it's on all right he could pot it too didn't think the pot was on yeah plenty of room for the yellow to go brilliant shot fuck So he didn't get away with it, uh, Judd, when he got out of the snooker. Nine. And we're back with the situation where it's uh, tough to pick a winner. 
brought to you. Fabulous long yellow. Joe Perry. By Joe Perry. And he's back where they started. And it's now a best of five to the winning line. Judd Trump three, Joe Perry three.